Hi, my name is Valerie. Welcome back to another WordPress tutorial from Motopress. If you're wondering how to present your offers to target customers, it's always good to consider the power of an effective pricing table. Here on the demo page of Stratum, you can view the examples of designs you can create with the help of the add-on. You can use this price table widget for a tidy outline and comparison of your services or packages, their features, prices, and benefits. It also do the trick when it comes to urging customers to make a choice between two or more options. Finally, hooking your prospects and boosting conversions. In most cases, websites use pricing tables to sell memberships or subscriptions or displaying most popular hot offers or tariffs for selling WooCommerce products. The Elementor Pricing Table widget by Stratum can help you save not just time, but money as well. Creating an attractive Elementor Pricing Table for free requires only two steps. Two simple steps. Installing the Elementor Page Builder and downloading a collection of free Stratum Elementor widgets one of which is a price table widget. We are now moving from theory to practice. Your pricing page is one of the most essential pages on your website. Naturally, your pricing table is the most crucial element on the pricing page. There is reason I've added a three column section in the canvas. You'll need to add a section with the needed number of columns to showcase each tire, level or plan. Usually, these are uh, three or four options. The Stratum widgets have appeared in the Elementor widgets menu automatically. Just drag and drop the price table widget from the panel onto the page. Our widget is packed with dozens of valuable features. Let's start exploring them with the Content tab and its general settings. First, I'm going to give my table an appropriate title. The names of each product or service on your pricing table are the most important elements on the page. The first plan should be either free or the least expensive one. Aside from the title, you can add a subtitle. Without a doubt, the price is what most customers uh, look at first when they go over a pricing table and you're free to edit the price, text, uh, enter the needed price, change its currency, align it to the left or right, and add a price description. It can be a suffix per month or per year. And by clicking all these pencil icons, you will select typography options for the text style. For example, choose your font family, its size and weight. Also, you can select the transform properties for the font, uh, then if needed from the style dropdown, choose between normal, italic and uh, oblique. It's possible to add some text decoration too and uh, use the slider to set your line height, letter spacing, and word spacing. To edit the text of the item, click on it. If desired, choose the icon for the item. There are no limitations to the number of items that you may insert in the pricing table for a website. Nevertheless, it is vital to select only right features for the table, the ones that align with the goals of your potential customers. You need just the right amount of relevant information to help users distinguish between offerings. Remember this. Again, you might want to align the list or add a border, so you have such tools for this too. Almost all pricing tables have in common that they include uh, CTAs for each plan or product on offer. If you choose to keep it, you can change the button's alignment, alter its caption, insert the URL, and change its border type, 
and button border radius. The styling section consists of color settings for each text element for both normal and hover modes. Click on the default icon. Now from the global color list you can select the color you want. Otherwise, open the color picker, select your color, then click on the plus button to add this color as a global color. As you may notice, the add-on inherits the default styling of your currently using Elementor theme, so it automatically suggests which typography and colors can make this module look organically with your overall page style. And by visiting the Advanced tab, I'll add padding. So the first offer is almost ready. Elementor has the easy copy content and style option to finish my table faster. I'll copy the content from the first column and make some changes to the text. Uh, stay tuned, I'll be back with the final result. I've just completed designing my pricing table. Looks nice and neat, doesn't it? The whole section with all its columns will allow prospects to compare different offers without jumping around the page. Apart from basic content and styling settings, I've used the advantage of advanced functionality to give my pricing table more of a professional touch. I've added an image as a background uh, to the second table to highlight the best package. The most popular options are usually the mid-price choice, but it depends. My table is just an example, of course. If you have packages for both the monthly subscription and the yearly subscription and want your potential customers instantly toggle between multiple sets of pricing tables, you are free to team up your pricing table with the content switcher widget. Just flip a switch to change the price data. And really, such a widget helps present multiple content options in a smart way so that pricing tables take up a minimal amount of space on the web page. So you can also add additional information like an FAQ uh, with the advanced accordion widget and try to provide answers to the most common questions your prospects have. And in case the functionality of Stratum Light will not be enough to fulfill all the design ideas, don't worry. We released the premium version of our favorite Elementor collection called Stratum Pro. You can read more about the difference between Stratum Light and Pro on motopress.com. In short, any business that offers services or products needs to have a pricing table. Making one with the Stratum widget will be an easy task. There are a lot of helpful tools for this, such as subtitles and unlimited number of list items, a highly customizable CTA button, and regular and unhover styling settings. And most importantly, you don't need to pay for the advanced price table widget functionality, unlike the alternative widget in Elementor Pro. Thank you for watching. If you still have any questions left, write them in the comments down below and we'll be glad to answer. Please feel free to hit that thumbs up button, smash the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to receive notifications about new tutorials. We would be also extremely happy if you join us on social media such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Have a great day!